Your AMD CPU is about to get much faster for free. A recent update to Windows' branch prediction for AMD Ryzen CPUs is now out and you can get it today. And it actually shows some pretty significant improvements in the performance of Ryzen CPUs. Starting off with a game like Rainbow Six Siege, we already see some pretty nice improvements, both in the DirectX and a Vulkan version. Shadow of the Tomb Raider also sees some pretty nice improvements as well, which makes sense seeing how well that game has always scaled. Then in Cyberpunk 2077, our averages stay the same, which is kind of understandable given how GPU bound that game is. However, our minimums and maximums do at least see some improvements. Keep in mind though, all of those tests are done in 1440p, which I believe strikes the perfect balance between not being too graphic scarred bottleneck like 4K, or still being more modern and usable than 1080p in 2020. 24. Though if Full HD is still the name of the game for you, then you'll still be seeing some nice performance uplifts there as well. Showing that pretty much across the board, you will be getting much better performance when you install this update. Now you can get it two ways. It was originally just intended for the big 24H2 update to Winners 11 coming later this year. However, it was actually backported to a patch to the current version, which you can get right now. Just look out for the patch KB5041 587 in Windows Update. So who exactly will benefit from this? Well, most Ryzen users actually, with everyone using Zen 3, Zen 4 and Zen 5 CPUs, seeing these kind of performance uplifts. So what exactly is going on here? Why this magical free performance all of a sudden? Well, it all comes down to branch prediction or something CPUs use to predict what instructions will be carried out next and where. Zen's branch prediction was always a bit different and Windows was just unoptimized for it. And especially recently, with the launch of Ryzen 9000 CPUs and Zen 5, there were some major changes done to it that Windows was just unable to take advantage of, which kind of begs the question of, why did it take so long? AMD is such a big partner for Microsoft, and apparently they haven't been able to pressure the team at Redmond to push out this update sooner. Instead, all this time, Team Red was pretty much playing at a disadvantage compared to Intel CPUs because of what is essentially a Windows bug. And yes, this is pretty much just exclusive to Windows. So all of you running AMD CPUs on Linux or on a Hackintosh or something, now is the only time to gloat. So what do you think of all of this? And if you tried it yourself, let me know down in the comments below what kind of performance uplifts you are seeing. And let me check out our Patreon as well so we can do more tests like these in the future. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bodish Velka, Patrick Harrison, Not A Pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Level Up and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.